Hey guys, got a quick uh, little update video here. Um, a viewer brought to my attention that the video that I had made back in June on how to modify USB stick so that you could install Windows 11 on um, older hardware is um, apparently no longer valid. So um, the, uh, the video that's here, um, this thing doesn't work anymore. Apparently, uh, when I was using the ISO from the leak from the leak that happened back in June, um, the the image file was under four gigabyte. Um, in the released ISO, the image file is actually larger than four gigabytes, so it presents a problem. You can't just copy the file. So I'm going to show you a different method here as to how you can do this, and we're going to go through this proof procedure hopefully fairly quickly, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, so obviously what we have to do first uh, is to get our media creation tools for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So here in the search bar here, Windows 10 media creation tool, you'll see comes right up in the list. So we're going to do that. Be able to go to download Windows 10. I believe that would be the right link. There it is. I believe there it is. Media creation tool. So we'll download the tool, save that file. That file is now saved. Now we're going to go back up into here and we're going to do those 11 media creation tool. Download Windows 11. Same thing. Download that one as well. So we now have them both. Now, since we have them both, what we're going to do now is, is we're going to start with Windows 10 creation tool. I already have a blank USB thumb drive plugged into the machine. And we're going to create the first one. Okay, so now the first USB flash drive is ready. It will do its cleanup. Now, what we wanna do now is we wanna go into File Explorer. You actually wanna rename this because the problem is is that both the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool give the volume this generic, num this generic name. Uh, you need to, at least I think you should, um, go into here and rename this. Just call it, you know, Windows 10 and have it change the volume. And at, once that's done, then we can go back into the other media creation tool and start our Windows 11 creation tool. Take out previous drive, put in another blank thumb drive while this is going on. Obviously, we're going to do the accept here. And we're going to create 11 flash drive. Okay, so now our Windows 11 media is done. And the same thing as before, we're gonna go into here. Notice that it's the same generic name. So we're just going to here, rename it, call it W11. Okay, so that's done. All right, so let me plug in both drives now. And back into, yeah, there's our Windows 10, there's our Windows 11. First thing I'm going to do is I'm 
to open that one in a new window. Go back into here. To here. Take the source we're going to take from the Windows 10. We're going to go into the sources folder. I'm going to delete. This install ESD here. Meet that file. Yes. Sources is 11. Take install ESD from here. Copy. Back over to here. Paste. Copy that over. Okay, so now that that file is over, that's it. You're pretty much set to go. The only thing that I would do at this point is I would go back into here. Again, I would go and rename this something else. Uh, let's just say for the lack of anything else, I would maybe put uh, W11 modded maybe. So that at least would give you an indication that you know, it's something else. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, so as you can see, um, this method is maybe a little bit more involved um, than the previous method, but the, the basic premise is the same. You're basically taking an image file from Windows 11, sticking it on a Windows 10 thumb drive, replacing the one that was already there. Uh, and in this particular instance, at least the files are under four gigabytes, so it'll copy without any problem. Uh, I've already rechecked this um, doing an install. It, it does work, so you should be good to go. Uh, keep in mind that you're going to need, at least initially, you're going to need two USB thumb drives to do this because you got to create both of the, in the installs. Um, but beyond that, you're fine. Uh, also, make sure that you're using something that's either an 8 gig or 16 gig or nothing larger than 32 gig because in some instances, depending on how old the machine is that you're trying to do this on, the BIOS may not recognize a, anything larger than a 32 gig uh, thumb drive. So probably on the safe bet, I would use a 16 or an 8. Um, 32 would be, probably be about the max that I would do. In any case, um, that's that's it. We're good to go. I've double, Again, I've double checked it. So you should be able to proceed if you want to uh, installing Windows 11 on some older hardware. Again, I don't know that it's necessarily something you want to do in the first place. Again, Windows 11, as far as I'm concerned, not quite there. Give it a little while. Give it till probably at least the beginning of the year um, to uh, have them straighten out what's going on with the thing. And then you might want to re-examine the whole thing. Anyway, thanks very much. Appreciate uh, your attention to this. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks very much. Have a good day.